welcome to Change Your Funk to Fun with your host, Mary Mazur. Learn how your body, mind, and spirit operate and learn how to access a sacred, powerful tool called Psych-K to assist you to ignite the wisdom within you to rewrite any limiting beliefs. So please welcome the host of Change Your Funk to Fun, Mary Mazur. Hi, I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Welcome to episode seven. Today, we'll be talking about find your way back to your heart. Yes, we are going to be finding our way back to our hearts today. I have an amazing guest on uh, that we're going to be bringing on the show, uh, Rick Chalmers. So I'll share a little bit about Rick before he comes on here. Uh, so Rick was born with a, a 10% chance of even being conceived. Uh, due to the fact that his parents did uh, agree to have contraception, which a lot of parents will do, at the time of his conception. So he might, you might call, he might have been a bit of a surprise. <laughs> yes, and then he, he even realizes that this was stored in his memory at the subconscious level. And he said it was probably a good indicator of many problems that it incurred in his early childhood development. So a little bit about Rick, uh, the way he was uh, raised. He was brought at, um, to a psychologist at the age of six and only to be convinced that uh, by those that they had this report is that he was told that there was something wrong with him. He was severely beaten and traumatized as a child. He was in and out of group homes and foster homes from early to his mid-teens. He was forced to survive on the streets uh, from ages 16 to 19. At 19, he joined the U.S. Navy, thinking that this that he'd have a career, and he did an outstanding job performance at his um, career in the in the Navy for eight years. However, there were issues with the authority, and it repelled him uh, from advancing uh, at the natural uh, pace in his career. So he ended his military career at the age of 27 uh, with a deep depression and anxiety. He worked mechanical mechanic jobs types until the age of 31. At the age of tw at 32, he was diagnosed with congestive heart failure uh, due to many years of depression. By the age of 35, after being informed by a psychologist that he was the problem and that it was most likely that it, would ne it was never going to change um, after years of psychologists and psychiatrists agreeing that everything else was, was the problem, that he made a pledge to himself that he's going to find a way to fix all this unnecessary conditioning that caused him uh, so many problems and spend the rest of his life helping as many people as possible, freeing themselves from negative conditioning. He felt drawn to study the law of attraction and universal principles of consciousness uh, about a year ago after he made this pledge. Uh, he began practicing affirmations and creating vision boards uh, where he attracts many opportunities that he had never, ever been able to do before in the past. He began uh, also um, group meditations, and he also came to my Psyche workshop, which I'm thrilled with. So we're going to introduce um, here now Rick Chalmers. So welcome to the show, Rick. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> boy, you've had a life so far. huh? <laughs> What's that? I said, boy, you've had a life so far, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been it's been an adventure. But. Wow, wow. Well, thank you for coming on today. We're gonna, uh, I know, dance a little bit, play a little bit here, and uh, yeah, get into some meaty stuff. Uh, the talk today is about finding your way back to your heart, and I know I was so grateful to have met you just a couple years ago, right, with yeah. us. And uh, what a gift! What a gift! I know Psyche has brought for the two of us to connect together. And I know, I know you have a beautiful heart and you do live from your heart now. And I, and I had no idea about any of that, um, of your upbringing. So it's amazing, right? What some of us have gone through, you know, growing up here, huh? Yeah, we have to go through that though, I feel like in order to have those realizations of how powerful we are. Wow. Well, thank you for that. And that's what, yeah, a lot of us certainly have. So, so with your journey with that, I mean, I'm sure there was a time where you were probably in your mind. I know definitely with me too, you know, um, the fear land, I call it. Right. So we, um, we lived in the fear land or the mind land. Right. And here now we're yeah. going to invite people, we're going to invite people into the heart land. Right. <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah. Kind of the fear land actually attracts doubt and worry as well. So a mm. lot of limitation and the heart land uh, attracts courage and, um, uh, love, self-love. So 
Yeah, so huge, so huge. So with looking at your life, you know, what you have gone through, where you are now, and actually where you're going, because I already see, I mean, I can I can see potential timelines too. So you got a really great life waiting for you right here. <laughs> and you're already dabbling into it. You're already creating it now, right? Which is so, so amazing that I'm grateful that you're going to share your wisdom, share the things that you've learned that's helped you on your path, you know, each step of the way. And then that anyone else listening, it can help them too, to know that, you know, there is, there is hope, there is faith. This is real. We are meant to create great lives here and to um, make an impact, which I, I believe you're already starting to do, huh? Yeah. I'm in the midst of it. Yeah. Which is so exciting. It's, yeah. It, it's unfolding. Yeah. I'm just observing it as it happens, I guess. Wow, wow, wow. So what was a big change for you from, uh, it sounds like you were in a lot of survival land, right? Like you were just mm -hmm. learning how to survive, it sounded like, right? And then uh, what was it that helped you make that switch when you made that pledge with yourself? What what happened during that time? If you could change um, like that. I just, I had been conditioned to go to specialists um, to see what was wrong with me. and they conditioned me to pretty much take pills and focus on my problems. And what I realized was by taking those pills, those antidepressants, they release serotonin in the, in the brain. So I was feeling good about my problems and unconsciously creating more problems for myself and allowing that to build momentum. And I just realized throughout the years, it just kept growing and growing into bigger problems. Mm. And, um, more trouble for me. So when I had that conversation with that psychologist where they said, you're, you're thir 35, you're, you're probably never going to change. And that actually, um, when I started my spiritual journey, I started studying actually Joe Dispenza and he has this quote where he says, by the age of 35, we're just a set of memorized programs. And, um, mm -hmm. it's a long quote, but Mm -hmm. Um, that makes me think about that every time, you know, like I was 35 and this psychologist was saying, you're, you're never going to change. And I'm like, man, I have like a whole life ahead of me and I don't want to go through this stuff anymore. So, mm -hmm. um, in all those sessions I had with them, they, uh, it, it's like, it's clinical psych psychology where they do prescribe drugs. So I, I feel like they were coaxing me to um, be depressed, but I mean, I don't blame them for what they do. I mean, but we we have to become aware of, you know, we have the power to, to think about what we want. And if we go to these so-called specialists, they're gonna tell us what to think. And they, they for years I was thinking I'm depressed, I'm ang anxious, I'm, I'm a problem and I was affirming that and, you know, spending a lot of time in self-reflection, like, and, and I just decided I'm going to stop listening to them and I'm just going to follow, you know, this voice in my head, <laughs> this voice in my head was telling me, just do the opposite of what you've been doing. I'm like, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. So what was the beginning thing you started doing that was the opposite? Yeah, it started with, uh, I had, I had a few friends that were successful and I just, I would go on Facebook and, and watch what they do. And like, the, um, this girl that is a friend of mine, that's a realtor, she's big into affirmations and I would see her go to vision board pro parties and like, uh, then, you know, she's studying personal development. So I just started to do what she did. And um, I started, I did it so much, I just became obsessed with it. And then, uh, but at the same time, I felt drawn to meditation. Like I would see books that, uh, that mention like the chakras and um, just little things popping out of nowhere that drew my interest. So I kind of followed that path as well. And I was going back and forth between both paths. And then um, I started going to group meditation. And um, my first time meditating, it was a first 
it was a one hour long meditation. I was in the meditation and I saw this eye and the eye had like a lightning bolt going through it and stars coming out the back. And that's actually the logo for my, for my brand. So, nice. but, uh, yeah, it, I mean, I could think back now what it, what it meant and understand what it meant versus then. And, uh, I feel like it was helping. It was saying your, your eyes open. Like you can see now <laughs> the veil has been crazy. uncovered. Wow. So, yeah. And just continue from there. Huge, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That was great. Wow. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and to move forward from there, uh, I started manifesting opportunities. And um, what I realized from that is when we decide to make a change, when we decide to think bigger or uh, in another direction, we have to slam the brakes and, you know, cause we've built up momentum for so long. We have to slam the brakes and then turn around and go back through everything that we went through in order to get to the other side. So as I was making those changes in uh, thinking and um, attracting new opportunities to me, the old program was still there mm. and um, I had problems you know, I, I failed a lot and, uh, got my heart broken and, um, but I just continued to focus on what I want because I knew that focusing on what I didn't want was causing me a lot of problems. And Isn't that huge? That's everything yeah. actually right there. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's everything. And I mean, to know what you want, and just focus on it. And, you know, I feel like many of us are conditioned to focus on what we don't want. That so much that we don't even know how to consider what we want. Mm -hmm. But um, universal laws tell us that, you know, there's an opposite, there's a polar opposite for everything. Everything is measured in degrees. So like the opposite, you know, what you don't want the opposite is going to be, I mean, what you do want. So mm -hmm. m most likely. Right, right. Beautiful. Well, and it yeah. sounds like, yeah, I know. Right. Well, and it sounds like you activated your self worth, which was a huge one, right? Because um, knowing that you're worthy of this, knowing that you deserve it, that you're, you're entitled to have a, a wonderful life here, regardless yeah. of how your upbringing was or, Maybe your parents didn't have the skills, you know, or the know how, how to, how to, you know, have the loving, supportive relationships, right? A lot of parents didn't. They were in survival mode, right? They, they were just yeah. doing whatever they could to have, you know, have them survive, you survive. Yeah. yeah. Right. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And we can't, we can't blame them for, you know, the choices they made. Cause like you said, the, they only know what they know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the age that we live in now, the age of information, we can find, you know, ways to, to, to heal and overcome. Yeah. They definitely didn't have it back then very easily. Huh? I think a lot of people just use the old fashioned coping skills like denial. My mom used denial. That was her way. Right. Yeah. My dad did alcohol, you know? So it's like, those were kind of the two typical ways I think. <laughs> or blame. Or blame. Yeah. 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 They didn't blame. They weren't the blamers, but yeah, you're right. Okay. The other one blaming. That's real victimhood, right? If you're blaming, then you're I really the victim. I think shame is a big one. And that's at, that's the lowest emotion at the uh, mm -hmm. scale of consciousness too. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. a lot of people are in that. Like, I yeah. Don't okay. Yeah. And they, and a lot of, I think what will happen, like I even, I just, um, so I will be talking about psyche because I know that's where you and I met was at a, at yeah. a retreat, the divine integration retreat, which is really awesome that um, I just had a client today that it really, um, it was really beautiful and her um, shifting that she did within herself um, it was, it was super huge that uh, we actually worked with, I have, so I'll share this little story that she, um, it, she had like nine sessions with me, which was pretty amazing that that's what her spirit said to do. And it was um, what she, she wanted to get some health stuff going on and just really rectify 
um, her spiritual connection within her even more deeply and in her life. And she said she had also a rough life too, like all kinds of crazy stuff, like, um, like potential gang rapes and like three different interactions with all that stuff. But yet she was never right. harmed. She was never hurt. Yeah. She always got away and she listened to that inner voice because that inner voice, right was say no, drive a separate car, you know, blah, 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 and do this. And then that helped her have a getaway car. And yeah, I mean, she even took down a one gang. It was a motorcycle gang that she actually um, went after them. And then they were afraid of her. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. So what, what we did um, today, with, like with Psyche, there's a, a, a balance called the relationship balance. So we did a relationship balance with her worst experience um, that her spirit wanted her to help do for the goal that she was creating. Like there was a new way she wanted to be with herself. And so in order for her to be in that beautiful new way, um, she had to actually, like you said, turn around and go through that worth worst experience, right? The gift with Psyche, which is so nice is it's much more gentle and fast yeah. and really can shift you through it pretty quickly. So her, her heart and her mind did pick up that one of the worst experiences because it was one that she didn't have an answer for there were things that had happened um in that situation and w when she did it though it was pretty amazing um yeah well, and actually i'm gonna i'm gonna get a lot more details we do have to take a short break and we're gonna dive right into what this was because it's actually a really pretty flip amazing story that she did for herself we'll take a short break so mm -hmm. i'm mary hazer you're on the bold brave tv network this is change your funk to fun we'll be right back <laughs> What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Mm. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're in episode seven. This is Find Your Way Back to Your Heart. We have Rick Chalmers here. Thank you, Rick, for being on the show, which is wonderful. So, yeah, so we were just talking about a, um, a woman that I've, I've been helping with, with Psyche as being a facilitator with her. And what she was able to shift, which was in this worst experience that she went through, was a bunch of guys that were about ready to do some really horrible things. And she was so smart, she actually got out of it, which was pretty amazing. So in with Psyche, and we'll be talking more about what Psyche is, with Psyche, uh, with connecting, uh, I was able to connect with that energy of these guys at the time, and they were in their 20s, um, that it was, it was amazing because what they rectified within themselves was their self-worth. They didn't have their self-worth, and they balanced in every, we call them the belief points, every area of their life that they're ready to grow in. And it really was because they were in shame. They actually had brought the shame in from, like, in their lineage through their lifetimes of, of their family lineage is what it was. And they were about ready to do a horrendous crime with her um, sexually and stuff. And the fact that none of that happened was super huge. And then we were actually able to help them, which was really beautiful and help her. And so, yeah, and the whole thing just turned out beautiful. Like she even, and she realized she's here 
she was here to have all of these almost like near death experiences, these almost almost horrible experiences. And then how she listened to her internal guidance system and was able to change the whole thing. And she actually changed. She helped them make a positive change because of what she did actually stopped them from the things that they were doing because they did this with other women and what she what what her interaction helped her act them turn in a new way, which is interesting. And then we ended up helping them even more get to that shame level because that shame level, a lot of times we don't even know we're in it. I didn't even realize I was in it, even with the sexual abuse I had as a young girl. Because uh, people, people don't talk about this. We're not talking about this stuff. Why would we talk about this stuff, right? <laughs> it's not like you want to go have a conversation about shame, you know? <laughs> You're like, hey, let's go have tea with, have, have a cup of tea with shame, you know? <laughs> Which actually right. could be a decent idea, though, because if, if and when, like you said, what you did with yourself is when you actually can um, decide, everything is about a decision, and that's the choice, and that's that gift of having the courage and the willingness to say, you know what, I've got to do something different. And you were at that point where you had to do that with your life, which was huge. Mm -hmm. For me, I, I was more of the helper of everyone else, and I was still in denial, so my spirit helped me with that one because I was in so much denial that I thought I was doing pretty good and didn't need any help and doing just fine that my um, husband at the time got really sick. And so I, I went and learned Psyche to help him. And then he wanted nothing to do with it, which was funny. It took him like three years, so he was a little bit open. But so then I started working with myself. So this tool, Psyche, what the heck is this, right? And that's what helped lead us together and um in that we you know I, I help a lot of people nowadays and then you do too and we're going to continue and then we'll do other things too because there's lots of beautiful things psyche is just a very powerful and effective tool to get right to the subconscious and make those changes and it's when people right. are ready it's exactly where you were where you're like i have to do something i decide something so you really put the call out and i put the call out when i really don't want my husband to die you know I would really like right. him to stay living. We got four kids. Can he stay a little longer and not die like his dad and brother did, you know, at 50 or his um, mm -hmm. sister, sister and dad, dad did. Yeah. So, and thank goodness he just turned 60. So there you go. Woohoo. He's staying. Yeah. <laughs> guess what? Mm -hmm. You can heal yourself. You can heal yourself. Like you say, you can lift yourself out of depression or out of the, the funky conditioned negative beliefs that we agreed to. And all of us agreed to have some, that's for sure. We all definitely, we definitely did because we were born in the 20th century. <laughs> Yeah, you can raise your vibration and attract better things to you, too. And that's exactly it. And that's it. That's all we're doing. That's literally yeah. all we're doing. Once you wake up, you know, the awakening, but once you decide and you say, hey, I've got to do something different, and you do have to make the turn. You've got to turn around. That's for, for sure. Yes, move through those parts because those yucky parts are actually all gems, believe it or not, as hard as that yeah. sounds. They literally are yeah. fertilizer. They're fertilizer for us. They actually help us even grow even more powerfully because that's where like the gateways of forgiveness come in, letting go. Uh, yeah. C activating your self-worth. Right. And then beginning to unconditionally love ourselves, letting go of that conditioned love. Right. And then having that contentment within ourselves. Right? Yeah. And they help us understand why we went through what we went through so that we can help others get mm -hmm. through what they're going through. Exactly. Yeah, because we're all here. That's what's so beautiful. We're all here for each other. Okay? We all interconnected in that. And it's almost like I see it as like you or anyone else. I see like you're an aspect of me. And I love that because it's like, oh, hello, Rick. Yeah. You came in my life. Yeah, to show me we're something. We're all mirrors. Yeah. We're all mirrors. And once we see that and if we can actually question that or, wow, could they really be an aspect of me? Because a lot of people, I'm sure, aren't going to admit that. I know I don't didn't want to do that yeah. with something else. <laughs> yeah. And... It, the gift is, and that's the that's the good thing, is the fact that we're in each other's lives as dear friends now, means that and that we're shining our lights. That ooh, I'm like I love I love all the all the parts about you, Rick. I didn't know your past, which is really pretty awesome, right? And mm -hmm. it's okay, it's okay. The people in your past were there for you for that that part of your journey, and it and it is all amazing actually. And yeah. and, then, and then now, who who's going to be coming into your life now? That's actually a good question to ask yourself. Ooh, who am I going to be attracting or magnetizing into my life, right? What do you want? What kind of people do you want in your life, right? That's a, a great question to ask, right? <sighs> yeah, I've been asking myself that a lot. But I have also been attracting that as well um, with you and you know, other people like you. I wouldn't have even considered or uh, like the notion of having like people like you in my life.
in the mm-hmm. past. Like, it was all just like negative people that talked about problems and blamed other people and blamed their parents. So wow. you know, come a long way from there. Isn't that great? Yeah, enough of the boxing time, right? Or beating up on stuff, right? Like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> it's like enough, enough of that. You know, yeah, how about, ooh, we can actually create heaven on earth here. And then how you do that is by finding your way back to your heart. And that's what actually what the talk about is the talk is about, right? Yeah. Let's find our way back to our heart. We actually have all been, been trained and conditioned to live from our minds, to live in survival, suffering, pain, just getting by, you know, just doing the best you can. But just, you know, it's tough. It's hard. It's um, strenuous, right? I know a lot of us grew up that way. Uh, yeah. Well, how about, how about we find our hearts? How about we find our love? We connect to the love because where your heart is is where your love is. Isn't that neat? Yeah, and Psyche is a good conduit for that because it deals with the subconscious, which is all around emotion, and that's where the heart is. Exactly, exactly. Isn't that great? Yay, I know, and I know you did it. It's amazing. I know you didn't come to my basic or or um, workshop, but we did the divine integration together retreat, which was, yeah. and I know even that one, you would, you had a huge expansion and I yeah, can feel it. it. <laughs> Both times. I, I just learned to control it better the second time. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. It's all. And however it is, is however it is. So yeah, I, I call these workshops with Psyche. Like, hey, there's a basic advanced divine. Those are the three mm-hmm. main ones. There's a couple extra ones too. Is that they, uh, yeah, the, the, Master and the health and well-being are also beautiful ones, but the basic is is an entryway. It means it means when you're ready and you decide I need to do something different, I have got to make a change, and you put the call out. And the call is to your spirit, your mind, and your spirit and your soul are all connected with your heart. We just kind of separated our heart a bit. So what Psyche does is connect your heart and mind back together. We call it your left and right hemispheres of your brain. You know, there's different ways of viewing it. Uh, I love to say that, hey, how about, and for, I know for myself, and, I, and I, I can even feel it with you, is that we're letting our hearts lead us now. That is, that's how we were designed as, as these gorgeous, beautiful human beings, is being heart-centered beings, checking with how we're feeling. Let that guide us. And like you say, put in how you want to be. How, how would you love to feel? What brings you the joy? the the bliss the excitement the um the the challenge even the challenge is kind of nice you know that ooh I'm gonna risk something I'm gonna go dare to go do something so we're meant to have exciting lives we're meant to be testing things out you know putting our I'm meant to be dipping my toe in things now is what I, the newest mm-hmm. message I got just go start experiencing new things see how you like it what you like what you don't right Oh, and begin to do that. So would you like to share about your vision boards? Because I even see the gorgeous ones behind you. And, and I, I know you're inspiring me to do that. I want to I want to come take one of your workshops and uh, learn how to really make that for myself. Yeah. Well, it, it's this it kind of works the same way as Psyche. Psyche asks, what, what do you want instead? Um, so it's the same thing with the vision board. It's just we're working at the conscious level versus psyche works at the subconscious so what do you want um and i feel like you know if you're if you're at this level and you're trying to get to this level or even this level you have to get to this level first to get to this level so like you have to train yourself to think big and um vision boards can help you do that because uh the conscious mind is the decision-making mind and we decide where to direct our attention or attention goes energy flows and it constantly uh gives and en- feeds it energy we build patterns in our mind we use psyche to uh for uh if we have a blockage or if like uh we want to change our uh what i noticed when i was doing vision boards in the past i would attract i would still attract what I wanted, but I felt grief or I did feel shame and um, like I didn't deserve it. So I would actually attract at lower frequencies. So I would get what I want, but I would also attract people that would show me why I don't deserve it. So with Psyche, I were able to change that I do deserve it and then raise the frequency and then attract those opportunities in those people that show us that we do deserve it. That makes oh, sense. oh, totally. Oh, it's so beautiful. Well, and with the subconscious mind, um, is the, it, it works with our sensory. 
So the vision, what do you see? What do you hear? How do you feel? Right? So I know even just the vision boards you have behind you, right? Especially when you can put the most meaningful things on your board, yeah. right? And, you're and then following your heart. you're following your heart. Exactly. You're finding your heart. Just let yourself go play. Let yourself just go. What would light you up? What would bring you up? And like you say, just because you can, you're just playing here. Like just imagine that lets you let you be in that more of a fantasy imaginary world and yet it can actually be really real because we are co-creating here we literally are creating everything and we do create it first within us right and within our minds within our third eye within our hearts uh, and a lot of times we don't even realize that we're doing that especially the negative stuff because when we have all the negative it's just going to show up in the outside world right well how about we switch that how about the positive stuff and see start letting this stuff show up in your outside world right <laughs> yeah awesome. and we put we put exactly what we want on these vision boards. We don't, I mean, you can use magazines if you want, but if you want to be specific, because you're going to get what you want anyways, you might as well be, you know, go after, put what you want on the board. Yeah. Your, isn't yeah. Allow the, the conscious and the subconscious to work together and create that reality unconsciously. Right, exactly. Yeah, and you did, right? And, and we're going to talk about what you put on your board that you're bringing into your life. We'll do that when we come yeah. back. Let's take a short break, okay? So I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Break TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll be right back. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality? But it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating. Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening, uh, it's like a, a flow inside, you know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're in episode seven, Find Your Way Back to Your Heart. We have Rick Chalmers here. Thank you, Rick, for being on the, the show uh, with me to, today. Yes. So we are just talking about, yeah, the, the, what the giftings you've done with the vision boards and with Psyche and how you, you you know, connected those two together and then the things that are coming into your life. So would you love to um, share a little bit about that? And then I'll share the gifts that Psyche has done for me. Uh, and then I would love the, to, to kick it up with the vision boards. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, um, I, I create vision boards. Uh, you know, Psyche teaches us that we, the, the subconscious processes 40 million bits of information per second and the conscious process is 40 bits. So I actually have quite a few vision boards in, you know, a high traffic area where, where I'm at because, I know that it's constantly processing that information and creating my re reality based off of that. So on a few vision boards, I've put down that I want, you know, to, to work with people and, and help them overcome limiting circumstances. And, um, I, 
it's taught me to to let go because I know it's going to show up. I don't know how it's going to show up, but I know I'm going to be able to look back and be like, oh, that happened. How to, you know, and see how it happened versus forcing the outcome. So, um, what was it like three months ago, two and a half months ago, I decided to, uh, take a job to work for Uber. And it's not really a job because I'm actually my own boss and it's, it's helped me, um, under like on my vision board, I put that I want to build relationships with people and I want to like learn to communicate better with them and, uh, um, be my own boss rather than from my experience in the past working a job, someone was determining my level of self-worth. So I, I determine my, my level of self-worth. So all of this I've been able to do while working, like while still imagining what I want to do for my business. And as what I've realized by doing that is I had already started building patterns in my mind because i mean that's the process that is happening in the when you direct your attention towards what you want and you do those psyche balances you send that emotional energy up to the conscious intention boosting the momentum and in the middle right there you're building you start building those patterns and you start becoming aware of those opportunities even more and they they come at you from all directions and I mean, you get to decide which, you know, which route you want to take. So I decided to take the Uber route. And then with the Uber route, one day I was just, uh, I wasn't getting an, a lot of notifications. And I decided to, to take this, these kids like 70 miles for like 40 bucks. I was like, why did I even accept that? But I just like went ahead and did it and I took them and then they took, I ended up in this college town and they're like, stick around, you know, um, you'll make a lot of money. So I stuck around for like four hours and I made a pretty good wage, like more than I, I have from doing it all day, pretty much. So I had decided to keep coming back to the town every weekend and, you know, every for working two days in a weekend, I average a thousand dollars. So. I'm like, this is saving mileage on my car and like, I'm getting ride after ride. And then I started talking to more to the passengers and, um, I felt like I was attracting people that were in there, like on their awakening path and not realizing that they're on their awakening path. People that do like affirmations and like people that are kind of spiritual, but not really like delved into it. So, um, I, I was, attra I was attracted to the town to, um, I used to work with kids. Um, it was at risk teenagers. Um, and, uh, I helped them, you know, overcome a lot of limiting circumstances. So it kind of brought me back to that and, um, I, the school, so the school, it, it's IU, it's the Hoosier State University, and um, they're prominent for um, classes in marketing, business, computer science, uh, all opportunities to help my business grow if, or anybody's business grow. So I felt like I attracted that as well. I put on, I recently made a vision board like three weeks ago and I put on the board that, you know, I want to find a house in this town and, um, I want it to be in a, like a, a wealthy area and, uh, like it has to have certain, um, certain attributes to it. And, uh, and then I want to build my, uh, my, uh, networking team. So I started, uh, I, I recently, it was a week ago, I found the house that I wanted it was for a, a decent price in a wealthy neighborhood. And, um, 
I, I recently attracted this guy on LinkedIn. He's so persistent, constantly emailing me or messaging me. We should uh, do a meeting. So I did a meeting with him this morning, actually. And uh, he's uh, offering to, uh, for a decent wage, off uh, begin marketing my company. Mm. So everything I've been put, put on the vision board, and this was just three weeks ago, is starting to manifest. And, you know, I know that from giving my attention to what I want, even though I'm manifesting these opportunities, it's going to continue to build patterns in my mind. And I'm going to continue to attract more opportunities at higher frequencies, because that's just how it works. Oh, I love it. I love it. Isn't this great? Yeah. And and, and it's nice that I, I love that we can let people know that there's really practical ways that we we can really help ourselves. And it sounds like with the vision board, it helps people uh, to get focused, to get clear about yeah. what they want. And then to actually find the pictures or the words that they're going to put on, even the colors. And then really, really, like you say, hone in on it, really yeah. grab what it is. And that's what I love is finding your way back to your heart is get into what, what is really meaningful for you. You know, what are you really desiring or what brings you joy? And then, and then to be open to receive it. Cause there's a lot of times too, people will put stuff out there, but do they really, really want it? Do they really, are they really ready to receive yeah. it? I think that's, that's where psyche comes in. It's super helpful. Cause I know I even did that. I would not even realize that I'm not letting things come in. I was taught to be an overgiver and always giving, giving, but I wasn't very good at receiving. And so I know for psyche it was a huge help for me to open out that channel <laughs> within me. Uh, that more feminine side of me to yes, be welcome to receive. Heck yes, I can. It's actually meant to be in a oneness, giving and receiving. So yes, give, share our gifts, um, help others. It's beautiful, but also receive help, receive help from others. And it's okay to have some needs. I was actually taught like, you're not supposed to have needs. You're supposed to just, you know, take care of yourself, kid. You know, <laughs> that's kind of how yeah. I was raised, right? Which I, I feel like I did a really good job of it, but then there's some missing pieces there. We're human. You know, we are meant to be imperfect. We're meant to, we have these bodies. We have, you know, things like we still do have to eat and it's nice to have a warm bed to sleep in, you know. <laughs> Those are just a couple simple things. <laughs> you know, and then like even the whole money thing, right? That's a whole other caveat, right? And, you know, I was taught my dad, I mean, it was a military man. I know you were in the military and he was 20 years in the military. And, but for whatever reason, he didn't like people with money. And so he, I got these beliefs about that. There's something wrong with having a lot of money. I'm like, what the heck is that about? Right? So Psyche helped me with cleaning that up and changing that a bit. Yes. And because it is, because money is just a pile. If you have a pile of money on the floor, it's not going to hurt you or harm anything. It's just a pile of money. It's what you do with the money and what you would love to yeah. do. Money's meant to be used. It's meant to be shared. You're meant to go, right, go have beautiful experiences or, um, use it you're meant to use it you're meant to grow it we're meant to duplicate it we're meant to right it's, it's actually quite biblical on that one too so yeah it, we're meant to it's meant it's an exchange of love and so right that's just because we still have money here on this world we haven't gotten all, totally into like bartering or trading which we could do that too eventually but um but yeah it's just I know for big one for me is that whole abundance piece and, and i'll be um this this talk is about deeply being loved so this is um the gateway into that, this one and the next two, and then there'll be three more talks, which we'll be talking about abundance. So I'm already kind of given a little caveat on that one. So, and actually in order to receive the abundance, and especially the work I've done within my own self, is I had to know I'm deeply loved and that I, and I deserve it, I'm worthy of it, that it's, because it, if that isn't in within ourselves, then it's, the abundance isn't gonna come because we'll be just working hard, struggling, but it's just, it's never enough or we don't feel like we're enough. You know, it's that those kind of, perpetual um, negative patterns or contracted patterns that we will keep cycling through. And um, I did that quite a bit. It's really nice now that, yeah, I live, I live in a time where I'm free. I have a lot of openness, a lot of open in my time and my space and my choices. I have, I'm free, right. With running my own private ministry, we can call it a business. It's more like a private unincorporated ministry is just, I love the freedoms of the spiritual um, aspect to help and share uh, with people. We can do this. We can do so much here, you know. Uh, that's what we don't even realize. We're just getting started, I think, with our freedoms, with, with, uh, yeah, dreaming. The the driven the vision boards are so beautiful to let people dream again, to give ourselves permission to dream. We can dream. We don't have to settle. We don't have to say, oh no, it's good enough. It's okay. I'm just gonna, you know, 
stick with what I have. Really? But are you happy? Do you really like what you, you know, <laughs> the way you're living? If people really ask that question, they kind of like, oh, no, I kind of would like to have something different, you know, and it's okay. We're meant to experience new things. We're meant to have changes. We're meant to, I know, continue to expand and uh, yeah, do what our, where our heart is. And when we find our way back to our heart and allow ourselves to um, live from our heart and let that be our, our new GPS system, I know for me, it, it changed everything within me. And I, I'm so grateful that Psyche was a huge tool to help me with that. And I know there's other beautiful things. I do love sound healing and breath work and even plant medicines. There's so much that we can do and the, and the combination of it all, I, I love. So let's let's have, you know, do a little bit of this and this and this because <laughs> we can, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have a, a success story uh, with someone I actually spoke with yesterday where I did a vision board with him. He's a musician and I did a core belief balance with him. Nice. And, um, Just like, hey, yeah. He, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And he told me that uh, he would normally like they'll he'll get hired for for to play and they won't give him like a list of music to they'll, they'll just say we're going to play whatever and you'll know the songs. And he would normally get upset about that because he likes to practice and he, he just decided I'll just go with it. And that's what the psyche helped him do but the vision board he's like i got hired for um for to, to to work for different bands and i'm actually getting paid more from that than my band is making all together so wow look at yeah, this yeah, i love and, it and you're you probably know, i have more yeah there uh other success stories this girl that was a uh, her husband cheated on her and she's like hey, before we I? do that we'll we'll do that when we come back sound good because that's a great story okay. but we'll take another break but we'll do the next yeah. story with her of how yeah how she handles relationships yeah. right when you get cheated yeah. on. perfect we'll okay. come right back then all right so i am mary mazer you're on the bold brave tv network this is change your funk to fun we'll be right back what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair what if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun, Episode 7. Find your way back to your heart. And we have Rick Tolmars here. Thank you, Rick, for being on the show. Yes, yeah, so you were just uh, about ready to share a whole other story, a success story yeah. with yeah, you helping people with the psyche and the vision board. So please share. Yeah. Yeah, this this actually happened a year ago. Um, her husband, this this girl, her husband cheated on her. And um, they, they'd had a marriage for 12 years. So 
she was going through a difficult time and um, she had been this stay at home mom. And, you know, she's like, I want to, I want to, I want it to, so I never have to, if this happens to, again, mm -hmm. I never, like I'm independent. I never have to depend on him for supporting me. So she wanted to keep the marriage going. She realized, you know, her, her husband had, he'd done everything perfect as a father and, you know, as a husband for, for years. And he made this one mistake and, you know, she, she didn't want to go down that trail of like, um, sharing kids and stuff back and forth and still communicating. So she decided she would just work on herself. So, um, we did, uh, a vision board around, uh, the theme of it was independence. She wanted to be independent. And then, um, we did, uh, again, we did the, the core belief balance, the psyche core belief balance to remove all those, um, limiting beliefs from early childhood development. And then, um, we started to do balances around building independence, uh, psyche balances. So that was sending energy from the subconscious to the conscious intention within a couple months she attracted a job where she was making uh six figures um after not working for like seven years and then uh and she started work that job and uh realized that yeah it, the job was good at making money but it was selling like she was selling her soul so she's like oh. She ended up leaving that job and now she works for a law firm, but she's been able in that year time frame. she told me she's been able to set aside $50,000 in savings and uh, like she's, she's also a realtor on the side. So she's like, I'm saving up for, you know, to, to begin doing Airbnb rentals and um, she's very independent and uh, she's uh her life is just can take a complete you know 180 based off of um that that experience and she's actually um the first testimonial on my website so oh wonderful yeah. well great i love it i love it Oh, it's so beautiful. Well, and it's beautiful because you worked with yourself first, like I did. We worked with ourselves mm -hmm. first. And then when we saw the changes and noticed the changes, then it was just natural for us to want to help others, which is just so beautiful yeah. with that. Right? So yeah. if someone you, reach you, oh yeah, what else do you want to say? Yeah. And even now she's like, she's aware of the vision board process. And the last time I talked to her, she's like, we're going to write down five goals. We're going to talk, we're going to write down five whys. We're going to write down five hows and then we're going to go backwards and and just let it work its way out so she's like aware of the looping process that's happening in her mind oh, along with psyche so it, it's working out really well for her still yeah it's a way to master your mind right yeah so yeah. we can we can be the masters of our mind finding our way back to our heart is the key right she had to figure out what she wanted she wanted the independence isn't that beautiful yeah yeah and she's pretty yeah. obsessed about it now yeah, no, good for her. I hear you. I hear you. So that's what I'd like to offer. Like for us, we'll, we'll give some caveats of uh, the the most important tips. Yeah. So what would you say with finding your way back to your heart? Um, what would you see the best way to be able to do that and then help yourself greatly in these times? Um, it's just knowing what you want and giving it your attention. So asking yourself, what do I want? What do I feel I deserve or, you know, rather than focusing on uh why don't i deserve this the subconscious is going to give you that answer but if you ask why do i deserve this the subconscious will give you that answer too and then you know just focus on that oh i love it and keep it simple right yeah yeah, yeah. So i mean I, I what i do is i actually go into my heart so i do a little more body movement stuff so i'll be like I imagine just being in the sacred space in my heart, especially the upper heart chamber is really awesome. And I'll put my hands on my heart and close my go. eye yeah. and I go within and I'll check in and I'll ask myself, you know, like, um, you know, how, how am I feeling? How am I? And, and in that I will, and the things that stir up that you don't like, okay, 
take note of that. That's with psyche. You can help shift those into what you do want. And then, and then, right, I let, I will just invite myself into my heart. It's as easy as that. Finding your way back to your heart is just inviting yourself back to your heart. It's just a decision. Yeah. And once you do, then you'll find the tools and the supports that are going to help you with making those changes. Isn't that great? Is it is yeah, just a decision. Yeah, stillness. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you'll be amazed when you can. It's it's one one step at a time, one breath at a time, you know, one intention at a time. And 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 realize that we're on a journey. We're meant to enjoy the journey. You know, it's not a matter of just going and achieving something, although that's really beautiful. It's actually how are you enjoying the journey while you're moving towards it towards achieving it. I'm loving just loving every, you know, every moment, every day, every new new experience, things like that, which also helps because then you can begin to enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> and to be like where we are right now and we're we're helping other people go and be because we really can have a great life regardless of what you're going through. You can change it at any time. It's when you're ready. Right? Yeah. I love it. So how, so how can people meet meet uh, find you? How can they find you? Uh my website is redefinedbydesign.com. Um, find me in the comment or the contact us uh, section, and uh, my website or my uh, LinkedIn, which is still being built. So um, I, it's built, but I, I haven't uh, started building my network. So I'm in the process of that, and then. Uh, my Facebook uh, business, which is redefined by design as well. Oh, good. Redefined by design.com. Beautiful. Thank you. And then if they want to reach out to me, it's ignite and heal your life.com. So ignite and heal your life.com. One more time, ignite and heal your life.com. Contact us. I am teaching a workshop January 12th to the 14th, an online one with people. They can learn it right from their home. Psyche. The end of January will be in Florida. February will be in Michigan. March will be in Kentucky and Tennessee. So find where those spots are for you. And uh, all it does is a decision, right? I know it transformed your life and mine too. So forever grateful. Thank you, Rick. This has been a, a, a joy and a pleasure having you here and share your wisdom with us yeah. all. Thank awesome. you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. So, whoo, I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Have a fantastic day. Aho. <laughs> This has been Change Your Funk to Fun with host Mary Mazur. Tune in each week and ignite the courage within you to take meaningful changes in your life and allow the fun, joy, and love in your life to awaken. Wednesdays, 3 p.m. here on the Bold Brave.